The Lindt Cafe siege doesn't just belong to myself or my fellow hostages. It actually belongs to our whole city, to our whole country. And that is part of why I feel that sense of responsibility to speak and to share about it because we all own it. It happened to all of us. Australians in any other part of the world on that day would have been in a mild distress and panic, you know. And so many people have told me their story because um, we all shared a particular kind of terror that day. Monday, the 15th of December, 2014. Man Monis, a self-proclaimed terrorist, walked into the Lint Cafe in the heart of Sydney and held 18 people hostage. It's not known how Monis got into Martin Place that day until at 8.21 on the morning of the siege, Monis switches on the phone, which he bought for the siege. Five minutes later, he's picked up on CCTV outside the MLC centre on Martin Place. At 8.30 a.m., a CCTV camera at the Reserve Bank records him walking into the cafe's main doors. Louisa Hope remembers that morning vividly. We were in the city that day, especially to go and see a lawyer for my mum, you know, just some family business for her. And uh, we had decided that rather than get caught up in the morning traffic, that we would go in the night before, so Sunday. So Sunday afternoon, we'd gone into town, we were staying at the Hilton. And so on that morning, we woke up that morning and um, were considering what we were going to do. Would we stay at the Hilton and have breakfast or would we go up and have breakfast at the Lint Cafe because the lawyer actually was in the tower block behind the Lint. So it was the same place. So we kind of went, yes or no, what will we do that day? And so we decided we didn't want anything serious for breakfast so that we'd just go up to the Lint. And it was just that sliding door moment where we just made that decision and just slipped into the cab and up we went to to the Lint and um, got out, went in just thinking, you know, we're going to see the lawyer, no big deal. It's as easy as that, isn't it? You know, your life can change. I didn't notice him, but absolutely my mother noticed him. Okay. We're sitting having our breakfast, right? Our coffee arriving and, you know, our toast comes and, and then mum starts to chat away to me about saying, who's that man over there? And I'm going, what man, mum? She says, there's a man over there and he just doesn't look right. It was not long after that, that we realised that the doors were locked. I've turned around and as he's speaking, he's making this speech that we're all being taken hostage. He wants Australia to know that it's under attack and that he wants to speak to the Prime Minister on national radio. In that moment, talk about denial, but in that moment, I thought to myself, oh, this is ridiculous. We're across the road from Channel 7. This must be some like candid camera moment or something like that. Uh -huh. I actually thought that and I'm watching it all happening. And then the next minute he pulls out a gun. And in that moment, I went, oh my God, this is real. We're being taken hostage. He's a terrorist. We're dead. You can listen to this podcast episode in full on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon to keep up to date with everything from Podshape.